So here's another quickie for you. As I mentioned in a previous video, I got some uh, Trinamic TMC 2130s from Phyllis Struder, and I've been waiting on those to, to do a couple things. I was actually gonna do a music gear related video first, but I got the wrong resistor order in, so I'm gonna do this for now. I couldn't find any decent instructions for hooking them up with an LCD and an SD card. Problem is the pins are taken up by the RepRap Smart Controller and uh, I couldn't find a decent guide anywhere on what to do with the firmware in particular. So I just, I smashed my head against the desk all day and figured this stuff out and I figured I'd put a quick video out for anybody else that might be having these same frustrations. So here it is. But first, just in case this is the first place you're coming to look for information on the TMC 2130s and a Ramps board, there are a couple guys who have done some pretty comprehensive videos on it already. I am just addressing the particular problem with hooking it up with the LCD and the smart card also working. So check out these guys first. My Tech Tips is doing a multi-part series on it. They just covered this in a video, so check that channel out. There's also Thomas Salamander, and he's showing you how to hook it up to a uh, Prusa clone, but it's it's pretty comprehensive, just uh, missing a couple key pieces of information I need that I'll kind of fill in here for you. So this is the beastie that brought us here. Notice the pin connectors are soldered up so you can get to them with jumper wires. This is the RepRap Smart Controller right here that's causing us the problems, specifically the SD card reader right here that you can see on the right hand side. Because this is the breakout board that we're going to stick on our ramp shield and you can see right here that the aux 3 is already taken up and that's what we're going to need for our trinamic chip first i'll show you how i solder these together just in case you were wondering i'm going to do this and fast forward because you don't need to watch the whole thing in real time the driver boards come unassembled so the easiest way for me to do it is to use a breadboard and don't use your favorite breadboard because you're going to drip little blobs of solder in there things like that while I'm at it, we're also going to solder together the silent step stick protectors from Vatarat. These are a good idea because there are a few uh, novel ways that you can kill these. Same deal, just stick them on the breadboard and solder them together. And then you end up with something like this with big old long legs. So if we look at a pinout diagram of our ramps board, we can see these three pins are the ones that we're going to need for the SPI bus. Unfortunately, our smart controller breakout board covers up this whole area here. So the first order of business is going to be to figure out what exactly we can do about that. Now those same pins are broken out in a separate place on the Arduino Mega board right in the middle. That's the programming port. Unfortunately there's no cutout in the ramps where we can get to that. So one way you can deal with it is just to unplug your ramp shield and run a little cable out of there with some uh, female ends on it and you can use that to plug into. That's a pretty elegant solution, but I wanted to be able to get to the connectors themselves, just in case I needed to plug other jumpers into it. So I decided to just solder them to the top of the breakout board. And the next thing we need to do is reassign a couple of pins in the firmware, and I'll show you how to do that too. But let's make some jumpers. I got these from Adafruit, and these plastic ends pop off pretty easily. If you've ever worked with these DuPont connectors, you just have to pry the little plastic tab back and they slide right off. And those are pretty easy to tin and solder to the back of the pins. And then the other end of the connectors are what you're gonna to use to plug into. So you're just basically extending our aux three pins up out and through the breakout board. And it ends up something like this when it's installed. I'm just running this on the x-axis right now to experiment and another departure for me was I wanted to keep the mechanical end stop and still have the Diag1 pin broken out. The Diag1 pin hooks up to the x-min stop connections so the easiest way for me to keep the mechanical connection was just to move that over to the x-max and then slide my end switch over to the other side of the gantry. So getting into the firmware, if you're using a standard ramps board, bring up the pins ramps header file and then just reassign the pins that we're going to need. We're stealing the pins from the other extruders that I don't have because it's only a single extruder. You could steal other pins if you do have other extruders. And since I'm using X max, I'm going to have to go ahead and change the X home direction to one from the regular value of minus one. This little tidbit took me a while to track down. Usually you're gonna have the define end stop pull up resistors uncommented, but you're gonna to wanna to comment those out and then go and pick the particular end stops that you're gonna need and then comment out the end stop that you're using for your diag pin, which in my case is the X axis. And if you were using a standard Polo loose stepper drivers, you're gonna to have to go ahead and change the X direction. Otherwise you're gonna be moving backwards. And that all solved it for me. So all I had to do was plug it in and let her rip. 
Now, if you have debugging enabled, which you should for at least the first couple runs, you could pull up something like Pronterface, send an M122 command, and make sure that your stepper drivers are working right. And does it print? Ooh, doggy does it. First try. So that's it. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully soon I can get back to that music gear video. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and check out the links below if you want to support what I'm doing here. Now get out there and make something awesome.